I'd like to thank you all for coming to our last education session for today and our next series that's going to um, be starting in 2013 is going to feature Hilda Gurney. And today she's going to be um, talking a little bit about harmonizing with your horse. That's going to be kind of the theme through the next series. So we're excited to have her here and get this um, new series um, off to a great start. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Hilda. I'm honored to have been invited to do these clinics, and um, today's going to be so much fun for me because I've been able to share my wonderful life with horses a bit with you. And sometimes I'm asked, how can you still be so excited about riding in horses when you've done it so many years? And I think every year I'm more excited than the year before. In fact, I can't wait to go home tomorrow morning and leave the convention because I'm riding my horses tomorrow afternoon, and I have a show on Sunday, and I'm going to start a, a couple new horses I haven't shown, and my horse, I want to move up to the Grand Prix special, and you know, it just keeps going. But um, it's so much fun, and I've never been bored because every horse is different. Once we get them under saddle, as well as in the handling before, it's so important to be the rider. And to be a, a good rider, first you have to have a good seat. And I, if you've got the handout, I go into this as much as I can. This is all just, I rode it early mornings before I went out and rode every day. And you have to have body control. Um, we have the Equisense here, and I'll show you how that works on the video. And it shows you which seat bone you're sitting on. And I'll try to explain that because sitting, knowing what sit, seat bone you're sitting on and sitting on the inside seat bone is so important in having your horse bend correctly because they bend around your weight. And uh, so much body control is first. And of course, you need to harmonize with your horse mentally. Every time we ride our horses, we're training them for better or for worse. If we bounce on their back and use their mouth for balance, they're going to be hollow. Their backs are going to get uncomfortable. They're going to not, not be happy with us riding. We have an obligation as a rider to be as much in harmony with them as we can, as well as to raise them and handle them and care for them as our responsibility throughout their life. Um, here we see Sean um, using the Equisense. The red light means he's sitting on his right seat bone. The blue light, he's in the middle, and the green light means he's sitting on his left seat bone. And it, this is what it is here. It's just these little half breeches. But you'll be able to see the difference. Here he's sitting very nicely on his right seat bone, riding his mare. And so his shoulder in, he's staying on his right seat bone, as you can see with the red light. And this is a training tool. The breeches, these little half breeches go right over your breeches, and he went to the middle. His weight shifted a little to his left as he went straight, which is fine, into the middle. And he's tracking right, and he's staying on his right seat bone. Now he's going to the left, and he should be on his left seat bone, the green light. Well, he's on the right seat bone in the middle, <laughs> on the right seat bone. And you can see the mare's not able to shoulder in very well or bend around his weight. Can you see all the tr much trouble the mare has bending? That's why it's so important to learn to sit on the side of the seat bone that the horse is bending. And here he's still fighting to get on his left seat bone. And again, the mare is not bending evenly in her body. She's having trouble stepping under and she's falling on her right shoulder. Now he's finally getting on his left seat bone. Goes to the middle, goes to the left. And now you'll see the mare start getting even bending. Whoops. Not staying there quite. There we go. He's on the left seat bone. See the mare able to bend in her body a little better? That's when he gets it, and then he loses it. And here he's on his left seat bone. Staying nicely on his left seat bone. And you can see the mare can carry the weight and bend so much better when he sits correctly. Sean really enjoyed watching this video because he's sitting much better on his left seat bone. 